Adrian Gardner, Chairman of the Mantis Collection. I come to World Travel Market every year, and I think this is my 17th one. And can you tell me about the developments at Mantis Collection, what's been going on? Yeah, Mantis has grown out of South Africa. We now, now have three products out of South Africa, the first one being the Draycott Hotel at Sloan Square, London, which I think we're quite well known for now. We've got a, quite a big South African market supporting us there. The next one we uh, did was Allerdale in Scotland, which is a conservation project, very much ba based on the Shamwari model uh, back in South Africa, where we put back all that was destroyed by man, and they're in the process of putting back the bears and the wolves there. And we, uh, so we in associated in marketing and really uh, developing our, our, both our strategies, which are very common, which is conserving a, way of, a vanishing way of life. And then uh, just recently we've added a product uh, uh, in just outside Geneva. It's over the French border, so it's in France, called Giva Hill. And that's uh, quite a nice story on its own in that the owner of that product uh, we were associated with uh, through our strategic alliance partner, the Born Free Foundation. And uh, what happened is they're in uh, oil exploration, and one of their managers in Sudan found three leopards on the side of the road. And they were um, saved, and we went up there saved them, took them back to South Africa in the Born Free uh, Sanctuary there. And since then, we've become great friends. And the owner uh, of London Oil, Ian London, opened a hotel. And we've been associated with that. And I think the, the cherry on the top there is that the restaurant that they've opened is called Shamwari. So, you know, so the, the, the um, tentacles of Mantis are starting to spread now from South Africa into Europe, and the brand is growing. And what can we expect from two, in 2007, 2008 going forward for the Mantis Collection? Well, I think um, as far as 2007 is concerned, is our big hope and our big, uh, really it's big for us, is that uh, we're hoping to be awarded the, uh, it for the 10th year in a row, the World Travel Award for uh, the leading safari and leading conservation company in Turks and Caicos this year. We're on the final nomination list, so that'll give us the 10, and uh, we will hopefully launch our 10 Mantis products this year. So there's going to be a big noise at the end of 2007 if we win this, and obviously going into 2008. Uh, you know, so we'll uh, get on the back of uh, two, 2010 soccer, Mantis is 10. So, uh, you know, with all that, um, we've, we've got quite a lot on the horizon. And I think the most important for a thing for us at Mantis is that uh, we started in the conservation business with Shamwari, uh, really um, saving land, saving animals, and we've really taken this concept to a new level now. Uh, we want to uh, start in South Africa with our grading council, our grading council being the people that uh, grade the hotels and everything, together with one of the top universities in South Africa, a green program. So we will identify a symbol for that, whether it be a leaf or something to do with the environment, and you'll be graded in stars just like you graded in, in the hotel. And uh, we, want to lead the, we want to lead that race in South Africa and then take it elsewhere, even if the city hotel, even if it's so simple in that we separate our garbage, we have our lights uh, on energy-saving bulbs, we, our laundry is done with eco-friendly detergents, all that sort of thing. So you know, we want to bring that concept right into Mansus, and, and that's what we'll stand for. And it's interesting how this developed is because we've had inquiries from around the world in what we call our intellectual capital, which is uh, really based around our conservation ethic. Uh, we've done work in Abu Dhabi. I've done work in Morocco. I think we debated that, discussed that last year. And also, this year, we've just got a, a big inquiry out of the Seychelles. And you'd think, now, why us? Why Mantis? Why not all the, the leading brands of the world? Because it's a development of a hotel. And the reason they chose us was because when they're pitching, they want to be able to pitch with regard to community, with regard to environment, with regard to batik speciality, things that we are starting to get good at. We, we're not there yet, but it's quite interesting that we're getting those acquiries ahead of the big uh, international chains, which I think is a, a feather in our cap. And how, do you, how do you go about sort of advertising this intellectual property and, and giving awareness out there, not just to consumers, but trade about sort of the, the ethics and the codes that you do actually have? You know, I think one of our biggest um, uh, sort of advertising things on this is really our achievements through the World Travel Awards. You know, we've got uh, major recognition out of that. It's all very well just been awarded these things, but we make it our business for the world to know we've been awarded these things. And we've, uh, we, besides the World Travel Awards, we've uh, achieved 25 international award recognitions for our work. So I think that's how we get our, 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 the, how the, our knowledge is out in the marketplace. We obviously put it in all our collateral, 
But, you know, so it's word of mouth to a large extent. I mean, if you think of all the visitors we have at our properties and the work that we're doing there, great word of mouth. We're obviously very powerful in the Internet, in our websites, putting that message across. So wherever we can, we put across. And, you know, we're small, so we don't just take on the world. We take on probably two, three projects a year and do them properly. Thanks very much, Adrian. Thank, Thank you. you.